What up, guys? Sid, Sid's Autograph site here uh, with today's mail. Um, this is Monday, August 6th. Um, so I've got three packages in. Um, one of them I should have got in on Saturday, but I didn't, so we'll talk about that here uh, in a minute. But we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Um, first package, the legendary initials WG. That's my man, my boy, Eddie Shovlin, Whisker Griff. Uh, I did a series of videos here a few days ago. Um, a series of four videos showing off my record collection. And uh, basically most of the pieces were for sale or for trade. Um, so he saw a couple albums that he liked and uh, we worked out a payment deal, and there's the payment, Ed, Eddie, WG. So, received your payment, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, if you haven't checked out those videos and you're into records, please check them out. It's four videos. Um, it's on a lot of records. I think I have about three to 400 records. Uh, so, if you see anything you like, obviously, uh, hit me up with a PM. Uh, there's also a series of four videos showing off my comic book collection. Uh, of about uh, two to three hundred comic books. Uh, again, if there's any comic books that you like, uh, hit me up with a PM. Let me know. We'll work something out. Uh, so thank you very much, Eddie. Uh, this is all YouTube packages here. I'm going to leave everybody's link down below. Go check Eddie out. Eddie is awesome. We've done billions of trades and, and sales together. Uh, never been a problem. Great guy to work with. Go check him out. Um, Next up, we'll do this one here. This is awesome. Uh, this is coming from my man, Tom, known on here as Hippies Collectibles. Um, did a little payment slash trade uh, for some comic books. Um, sent this. Look at all these uncanceled stamps for the win. Nice uh, cardboard mailer. Right into this, hopefully. I'm a little bit prepared this time. I brought some scissors out here, maybe. There we go. Tom saw some comic books he liked off of the four videos, and he worked out a deal. Uh, as I said, partial payment, partial cash. That was really stupid. Partial payment, partial trade. All right, so here we go. Here's a note. Uh, hey, hiya, Sid. Here is the OJ pick and a Hall of Fame card signed by Bob Feller. Awesome. Uh, the OJ pick was signed about 1980-81 at a bar restaurant called The Front Row on Patterson Plank Road in Rutherford, New Jersey. I went there with my girlfriend for lunch, and he was there for a game being played at Giants Stadium as a broadcaster, I think. That is cool. Uh, Bob Feller was signed at Roosevelt Stadium, Jersey City, in 1978. The AA minor league team, the Jersey Indians, was holding a Jackie Robinson day there. Uh, Rachel Robinson was there, and they both find a ball for me that was stolen from me some years ago. Enjoy, Tom. Oh, that sucks, bro. Definitely not cool, man. Sorry about that. Um, but thank you for uh, the trade and the extra here. You did not have to send that extra. Uh, it is much appreciated. This is one of the uh, National Baseball Hall of Fame uh, Museum postcards. Uh, showing his Hall of Fame plaque. Um, met Bob Fuller a few times uh, when I was living in Florida. Uh, he does conventions, uh, as you guys might know, a lot. He's constantly out there on the convention circuit. Um, I did have a signed photo of him and a ball, um, but those have since been sold. Uh, back when I, I think back when I first opened my comic book stores when I sold those. Uh, but this is cool. Nice to have a Bob Filler back in my collection. Signed in uh, 
black ballpoint pen right there. So that is much appreciated, brother. Thank you very much. And here is that OJ. Sweet. Nice vintage photograph. Uh, the 49ers uniform. Uh, sign right there. And black Sharpie to my friend. Best wishes, OJ Simpson. That is very cool. Um, back when I had my sports card store, uh, 93, 94, um, there was a product that came out called Signature Rookies. Uh, and I busted a box for myself, and inside one of the packs was a redemption card for a uh, signed trading card from uh, O.J. Simpson. And uh, so I sent off for it. They sent it. I don't remember if it was a normal size trading card if it, or if it was about maybe this size. I can't remember. Uh, but they sent the thing in this huge Lucite screw down holder. It was two pieces, but it was the size of this 8x10 photo. And the, the card was in there. And at the time, it was worth like two or $300, one of the, my best pulls um, out of a box of cards. Uh, since I've had no luck, as uh, you guys might have seen. but. Anyway, really proud to have that, but again, sold it. Uh, I had his rookie card, too, uh, at one point, but I sold that, too. So it's nice to have an OJ back in my collection. Um, really, really nice signature. Easily make out who it is. Um, great shot of him running. The juice. So that is awesome, Tom. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much. Um, again, I'll leave his link down below, Hippies Collectibles. Guy is amazing, funny as hell as well. Um, collects a lot of the same things I do, autographs, comics, records. Um, so very, very pleased to get this. Um, thank you very much, Tom. And now for the last package. This is trade number two. Uh, coming from my buddy Eric Starnes, 420 Guru. Uh, this is trade number two. As I said, I was supposed to get this package uh, actually Friday at the latest, but it didn't come Friday, so I said, well, it's in Tulsa, Oklahoma right now, so I'll definitely get it Saturday. Uh, but I didn't get it Saturday. Uh, and apparently what happened was it was missent. Uh, is what I was told, and it's what uh, uh, was on the tracking information on USPS.com. So when I called to investigate it, uh, I called up Tulsa, Oklahoma, one of the post offices there. There's like five, so I don't even know what, what fucking post office to call. But I called one of them, and I got a hold of somebody, and uh, I told him what was up. He he acted like he didn't want to freaking talk to me as it was, but he finally did, and he tracked the package, and he basically told me that um, it was scanned as show you, the zip code that they had on file was 74633. But as you can plainly see, it's my zip code, 74632. Um, so somebody, some fucking mother bitches at the fucking Tulsa, Oklahoma post office um, scanned this and put it in wrong and put it in as a uh, post office next door to us. Uh, so, but when I called that post office, in small town Oklahoma, post offices are only open for like a half an hour or an hour on Saturday. So when I called, they were already closed. Uh, so this was sent back to Tulsa, and apparently um, at some point Sunday it was sent back down here to Bremen to the correct address. And I just told you my address. Oh, well, fuck it. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so the stupid assholes in Tulsa in the mailroom didn't know what the fuck they were doing and screwed up my package, but I finally got it. It's finally here. Um, trade number two with my man 420 Guru. Um, guys, we are working out some amazing trades here. Um, we got trade number three completed. I'm 
um, which Eric, I'll be sending out your package tomorrow. And we are in talks to work on trade number four. So, real easy guy to work with. Um, sending me some awesome stuff. Let's see if I can't break into this. I'm so glad I brought the scissors out here. Okay. So, cardboard for protection. Uh, looks like a bunch of extras again. Um, let's see if I've got a note in here somewhere. I don't see one. Alright, so first up, this is some extra. Tops Americana cards. Uh, it's obviously Charles Schultz, creator of Peanuts. Very cool. Love to have his autograph. Uh, then we got Windows 1.0. That's Bill Gates. Look at that stupid fucking hairdo. Pretty cool. Then we got an insert here. This is Andy Warhol. Or it's some kind of refactor type parallel. So that's cool. Uh, a copy of the Saturday Evening Post. Cool. And Star Trek. Uh, Gene Roddenberry, Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, I'm not sure who the other guy is. So that's cool. So here's an extra autograph. Charlie Pride. I've had a few Charlie Prides in my collection, but not a photo. So that is awesome. That's an extra. Then we have Charles Grodin extra from Midnight Run. Comedian Charles Grodin. Very cool. He's also in the Beethoven movies, if I'm not mistaken. Awesome. That was part of the trade, I believe. And that is Ethan Supley, I believe, or Supley. Uh, my name is Earl, among other things. I'm not sure if this was part of the trade or not. I can't remember. I know I wanted it. I'm pretty sure that was, and that was, and this was. Okay. So we have awesome vintage, blurry 8x10, but still an 8x10. Tom Selleck. Can't make out the movie this was from, but signed it right there. Very, very cool. Big fan of Tom Selleck, uh, mainly from Magnum P.I., um, but also Runaway and Three Men and a Baby, and been on a lot, a lot of things. Uh, what is he on? The Jesse Stone series on TV. I believe it's a series of, like, television movies. A big fan of Tom Selleck was... Uh, it's got that cop show, too. I can't think of it. can't think of it right now. Then we got Raquel Welch. Signed in blue, Sharpie, right there on the side. Huge, huge fan of her. She's like 60 or 70-something years old and still gorgeous as hell. Uh, I remember watching the 8mm movie of 1 million BC. Uh, my dad had an 8mm uh, camera and projector in a bunch of movies. And he had 1 million BC. And that's, that was my first uh, um, introduction to Raquel Welch. I mean, the, uh, the animal skin bikini. Just gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Um, but she's been on a lot of different things as well. Very cool to get that. And last but not least, director Wes Craven. Signed in gold Sharpie right there. Director of one of my top favorite horror films, Nightmare on Elm Street. I uh, was a Freddy fanatic for years and years. I was a member of the fan club. I had all the dolls and the records and the tapes and the movies and 
I had an outfit with the mask. I used to dress up every Halloween. I walked in parades dressed as Freddy. Just good times, good times for real. But anyway, I'm going to leave 420 Gurus link down below. Another amazing trade. Trade number two. Uh, trade number three just completed, as I said. Um, bunch of extras again. Just, guys, get to know Eric. He is an awesome guy. He's got lots of stuff to trade. Again, he's he's a mirror image of me. Collects a lot of the same things. Um, games, puzzles, autographs, records, comics. Uh, just an awesome guy. Go give him a sub. Go give all these guys a sub. Thank you all for, for the trades and payments, guys. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope everybody else had a good Monday at the mailbox as well. Talk to you all later. See you.